Welcome back to the channel. This is a small show and tell it's, and showing some parts as well. This is the big brake kit that I purchased last year. It's a K-Sport kit. It consists of a 330mm uh, brake disc and an 8-pot caliper kit. Uh, it comes with all sorts of brackets and um, braided lines and etc. like that. Uh, but what I wanted to show you mainly was uh, the discs and the caliper. I've already started unpacking it to save a bit of time for the video uh, to keep it short because there's not really much to show other than the caliper and the disc but um, I want to give you a rough idea of what uh, is consistent inside the pack and what is going to be going on the car so that is the disc that is one of them anyway as you can see so it's going to zoom right oh god that's not working right right that's the disc there as you can tell um, this is ridiculously heavy um, I was rather surprised how heavy they are um, now uh, when I put them on the car they they do look the part now this is the caliper if you can get that into the shot as well that's the caliper and that gives you a rough idea of the size of it compared to the size of my hand there. it is a rather big caliper and let's see if I can show the eight pots it's not showing it hang on a minute let me turn the light on let's see if we can see that See that now? Not really. Oh, there it is. One, two, three, four. It is four in there. So it's one there, two, three, four. And then the other side, which is one, two, three, well, one, two, three, four. So eight pot caliper. You get all the brackets and stuff like that in here, which is in there. Bracket. And then you also get various other little bits as well. So you get uh, banjo bolts, uh, not banjo bolts, oh, well, because they are banjo bolts. Um, and then you get uh, little clips and that for the braided lines, and you get various other little K Sport goodies. A book that I've never read, as you can see, big brake kit, uh, how to, and all that. And then you get braided lines as you can see braided lines and then also you get a little pack of bolts to hold it all into place so that's pretty much it that's just a little show and tell to show you what else is going to go on the car this is not going to be going on a car yet the reason why is because I can't get them to fit at the moment they don't fit behind the OE wheels so I've had to go and buy some aftermarket ones uh, once that I've managed to uh, suss out the how to go and fit them, either with spacers or even changing the camber of the wheel, um, the strut, uh, I can hopefully uh, be able to fit these. Um, so, yeah, watch this space. Uh, like, share, and subscribe if you like what you'll see, and we'll go from there. Thank you. The wheel, I've got some new alloys, um, and uh, they've got some. Uh, better oh, Riley sorry my dog is eating a bloody pen oh, bloody dog. that bloody dog hmm you're gonna be on YouTube young man anyway uh, right so uh, get out of the shop 